Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just wanted to uh, show you guys and girls a couple of uh, classics that I picked up today. Well, actually, no. I got the uh, red classic over here. In, uh, actually, I got it in Walmart yesterday. And uh, the black one I picked up today. And what we have here, I'm sure all you nice people know, is the Victorinox Spartan. I really love this one. I mean, it's just, it's got 12 tools. And they call it 12 functions, 12 tools. I never called the key ring a tool, but anyway, I really do like it. It's uh, it's an awesome knife, sharp as can be, man. Right out of the right out of the package. I mean, these things are just scalpel sharp. I mean, they, they really are insane. But um, I would have preferred to get the, uh, the uh, Phillips instead of the corkscrew. However... I notice that I don't have a corkscrew in most of my other multi-tools, or my knives for that matter, so I figured I'd get the corkscrew. I have Phillips everywhere, and I figured I'd give this one a nice shot. I've had Spartans before, and I've always loved them, but I figured I'd pick up another classic red one, and this thing is tried and true, as you guys know, man. I mean, most of you people know. I'm sorry, I'm not really framing it. I should be framing it better, and I don't have macro on, as usual, because I don't think ahead. Anyway, but uh, I'm a little unprepared, I guess you could say. But I hope you guys can make it out. It's the uh, I'm going to do a better review. I mean, these things are reviewed all over the place up on YouTube. There's probably 30, 40, 50 reviews on the Spartan Victorinox. I prefer Victorinox over Wenger. But to be very honest with you, Wenger has its ups over Victorinox. They're scissors. I think their scissors are better. And a few other things, but they're, they're, either way you go. Either way you go, I just prefer Victorinox. But that said, this is the uh, Victorinox Spartan with the 12 functions, 12 tools. Minus the key ring. I'm just not, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to call a key ring a tool. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. No matter who does it, I'm not going to do it. So that's the uh, Spartan. And then, of course, a true classic. And I'm moving my camera around. I'm so sorry, guys. But uh, the actual Victorinox Classic SD. Now, I, I'm pretty sure this was the very first pocket knife that I had when I was a kid. I'm 100% sure it was a Victorinox Red Classic. And I lost that one many, many years ago. And I've replaced it numerous times since. And I always grabbed the red. I always grabbed the red automatically because it reminded me of the one I had when I was a little kid. But this black is awesome. I mean, I really like the black color in this. It's kind of... It just looks a little bit more, I don't know, I guess you could say fancy. I, you know, I mean, it just looks a little bit more dressy. It's like real gentleman-like, and ladies can take it out. I mean, black goes with everything, no matter what you're wearing. And it's just a real cool, I love the color, man. I really do love the black. I got to get. I gotta actually pick up more of these uh, Swiss Army knives in black. Excuse me, guys. But um, it's got uh, seven functions, again. I'm not going to call the key ring a function. I just refuse to do that, as you know from the last time I said it. But you got your knife, you got your nail file, you got your flathead screwdriver, you got your scissors. Now, to be very honest with you, this is one of those models right here. Victorinox Classic SD. Love the knife. I mean, you throw this thing in your pocket, it's air. You don't even know it's in there. And so many times you'll forget you even have, you'll be like, oh, wow, I got my knife on me, I got my scissors, whatever the case may be. I have to be honest, I think the Wenger scissors, especially in this model, are much better. I, I, I just think the spring mechanism, it's not even really a spring, it's, it, it's just a much, it just feels better. You guys know what I'm talking about, all you knife people know exactly what I mean. But, there again, I stick with Victorinox, I love them, they're just awesome. And, again, the back of the package, I'm going to open these up. I'm going to go up on YouTube. I was up there last night taking a look. I said, oh, yeah, i got to get another classic. And I was going to grab it in the red today. I saw it in red. I saw it in black. I said, I wanted, I wanted it in black. I just decided to go with it in black. I got so many Swiss Army knives. I mean, I'm a big knife collector. And I got so much stuff I could show you guys. and Watches and flashlights and other various toys that we play with. But, um, yeah, I just want to show you this one here I just actually got today. This one I got. Yeah, actually, I opened this one up already. <laughs> I kind of cheated. I opened this one up last night. I can actually show you that. I popped this one. I just put it back in the package for presentation purposes. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just a, it's, 
you know, man, what can you say? What really can you say about this knife, man? I mean, this thing is known like the world over. I mean, the whole world knows about these knives and the Wenger, too. I mean, I, I know I'm not saying it right. I believe it's, they pronounce it Wenger, but I don't speak German, so, I mean, my New York accent kind of takes over. It's Wenger. Or, oh, you know, sometimes I'll even say Wenger. But, case is, man, I mean, they're great knives. They're, and they're like Leatherman, man. They stand by their product. I mean, you do anything to this knife, they're going to take care of it. If you break it, if you snap something, if, I mean, if they have a lifetime warranty, whereas Leatherman has a 25 year, but that warranty, see, I'm rambling. I'm sounding like my boy Exacto. But anyway, that said, uh, you know, what was, where was I? Oh, yes, Leatherman, that 25 year warranty is no joke. I mean, I can tell you guys many, many a stories, man. I mean, the thing it's amazing how they stand by their product as well. Anyway, we're talking about Victorian Oxford Army Knives. And there I go. So, I think this one here is just a must-have. Cheap. I mean, <laughs> you know, you don't want to call it cheap because it's crazy high quality. I mean, it's the steel is just amazing in here. Matter of fact, I heard something pretty uh, interesting. I know that this steel well first of all it's razor sharp holds an edge pretty long takes an edge real well but i heard and maybe some of you knife guys out there can tell me what it is i'm not sure about it i heard the actual steel that they use victorinox especially in this model and i believe in this model as well too maybe all their models i really don't know you know all the little tiny details of the manufacturing but what I heard was the name of the steel is Martin Siddick Mar I don't even know how to spell it and I'm hoping I'm even pronouncing it right but I heard the name of the steel is Martin Siddick stainless steel alloy maybe some of you knife guys and girls can come up and tell me what the heck that means but all I know is he's sharp is really sharp but anyway this is getting a little bit too long it's up to what almost seven and a half minutes now that's my uh victorinox spartan love this i've had this one numerous times I, i'm sure i got some laying around in the house here somewhere it's just one of those things you know you put them down you lend them out you you, you leave them somewhere this is a classic they call it the classic for a reason it's the classic sd in black i'm gonna open this one up in a little while and then uh yeah, I really feel kind of funny doing a review on them because they're reviewed to death up there. But you know what? All reviews are cool, man. I mean, I love to, I love when I go up there to review products, especially knives and flashlights and guns and all the things I love. But uh, and I see a product that says, even though it's been reviewed for seven, eight years, doesn't matter to me. When I pull it up and I see one week ago, man, I jump on that video. I jump, I, I pop right in there because you know that guy, that girl, they may have something different to say. You know, they may they may know something, like, for example, just last night is when I heard about the uh, Martin Siddick stainless steel alloy. I never even heard of it before. I'm ignorant to that. You know, I, I, you know, I, know, I know my Sandvik, I know all my other metals, but when it comes to the uh, Martin Siddick stainless steel alloy, man, that threw me for a loop. And from what I understand, it's high quality steel, which would explain these amazing blades, man. I mean, these things, I'm not kidding you. You guys know. I mean, this, this stuff is, there's a fingerprint, that's not cool. But, uh, these things, man, I mean, they're psychotic the way they come out, man. The thing is really insane. I haven't cut, I'll be honest with you, I haven't cut a thing with this one yet. But I just got it yesterday, so, I'm, is what it is. But, uh, that's it. I'm just gonna throw this up on YouTube, and hopefully somebody can help me out with that steel. Again, it's Martin Siddick stainless steel alloy please don't ask me how to spell it i only know what i heard and maybe somebody can educate me today gotta learn something every day all right guys and with that i'm going to cut it short respond subscribe like dislike comment let me know what you guys think and i'll be seeing you up on the tube i got the tube up there right now so you, you all don't know i'm watching you all right, man, I'm going to try and keep this one under 10 minutes because I'm ramp. Oh, yes, and always carry a Sharpie. No, I don't work for Sharpie, but you must have a Sharpie. Of course, your cell phone. That's not included. I got everything always. I got flashlights with me at all times. I got 
man, multiple, multiple, multiple knives. I got, <laughs> I got Leathermans with me at all times. I got Leathermans with me. I mean, I'm just. Anyway, I even got other little. This is cool as hell, actually. It's thin as a pen. And but, swap. It's a sharp ass scissor right here, man. <laughs> Let me tell you, I just keep this like in my pocket or in my car or my visor, or whatever. I and mean, these things are real sharp. I didn't really even need a knife with scissors, man, because I always got the end of the light. I mean, I don't even think these things weigh, man, I, man, it feels like two grams. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm sounding just like my friend Exacto down here in Texas. And if you see this video, brother, you know, you know what's up with you and me, man. We are boys. All right, guys, now I'm running up to 11 minutes and... I guess uh, I look forward to those responses. Please subscribe, rate, let me know what you think, especially about that metal. Peace out, guys.